Hi friends, welcome to the video of curriculum design focusing DKVLS model. This video provides you a clear understanding of the topic VLS model of curriculum design. This topic is related to the course of curriculum development. I am Dr. Evangeline Whitehead, created and presenting this video. Curriculum development Daryl Kenneth VLS model of curriculum design. Curriculum development constitutes how a curriculum is planned, implemented and evaluated along with the different processes and procedures are involved. Curriculum models are designed by various educationalists to provide a basis for decisions regarding the selection, structuring and sequencing of the educational experiences. Daryl Kenneth Wheeler Daryl Kenneth Wheeler's Model of Curriculum Design the VLS model of curriculum development is otherwise called cyclic model. In the year 1967, Daryl Kenneth Wheeler modified Taylor's straight line model into a cyclic model. T.K. Wheeler in his book Curriculum Process defined curriculum. He says, by curriculum we mean the planned experiences offered to the learner under the guidance of the school. Wheeler felt that Taylor's model did not help students achieve the evaluative outcome or expected objectives and it did not provide a feedback. Wheeler believes that curriculum design making can start from any point and come back to any of the point like a cycle. According to Wheeler, curriculum should be a continuous cycle which is responsive to changes within education sector where any new information or practice will be adapted in the curriculum and bring changes accordingly and it makes appropriate adjustments to account for these changes. In 1970s a new element was introduced into the curriculum process of cyclic models called situational analysis. In the situational analysis the context or situation in which the curriculum decisions are taken is considered important and it is thoroughly studied. This helps curriculum makers to take current decisions that encouraging active participation of teaching staff in school based curriculum. DK Wheeler's model of curriculum, uh, he suggested that any study of curriculum must be considered with at least two factors. Factor number one nature of society itself. Factor number two is nature of individual member. Further, Wheeler mentioned the curriculum process consists of five phases. Phase number one, the selection of aims, goals and objectives. Phase number two, the selections of learning experiences calculated to help in the attainment of these aims, goals and objectives. Phase 3. The selection of content, that is subject matter, through which certain types of experiences may be offered. Phase 4. The organization and integration of learning experiences and content with respect to the teaching learning process within school and classroom. Phase 5. Evaluation of the effectiveness of all aspects of phase 2 and 4 in attaining the goals detailed in phase. Phase 1. Aims, Goals and Objectives. Wheeler says that aims are formulated from the general to the specific in curriculum planning. Wheeler says that aims should be discussed as behaviors referring to the end product of learning which ails the ultimate goals and these ultimate goals can as well as be taught as of outcomes. The educator determines academic goals and objectives in the first step. In, the, in this phase, teachers discuss and determine ultimate aims that are supposed to be yielded during the learning process. At the end of the first step, the formulated objectives serve as an evaluation tools. Phase 2 Selection of Learning Experiences Learning experiences covers all that a child acquires activities organized by the school curriculum. 
DK Wheeler's model is different from other models where selection of learning experiences comes before selection of content. It specifically gears the content in the curriculum to learners where most models follow the opposite structure. Phase 3 Selection of Content In the selection of content, subject matter is selected through which certain types of experiences may be offered. Content is distinguished from the learner's experiences which determine the content. Reference Chaudhary and Kayla 2015 Phase 4 Organization and Integration of Learning Experiences and Content Organization and integration of learning experiences and content happens with respect to the teaching learning process within school and classroom. Phase 5 Evaluation Wheeler says that evaluation enables us to compare the actual outcomes with the expected outcomes without it is impossible to know whether objectives have been realized and if they have to what extent. This is a reference from Wheeler 1976 cited in Carroll 2009. During the process of evaluation, an evaluator considers two areas. The areas where students are mastered well and the areas that need to be further worked on. The identified learning needs and the areas of learning to be further improved are taken into consideration when a teacher establishes further goals and objectives. The basic assumption of this model is that the end of education is a desirable change in behavior. It is perfect and true that the end of education is always and everywhere the same, but it is at the most general level of discourse. In dealing with behavior, specification is necessary to be more precise than usual statement of educational aims. The process described above can be used in all curriculum development at any level. D.K. Wheeler, 1967. Once the cycle has been followed once, it begins again at step one and continues onward to continuously improve the curriculum in the face of any changes that may have been imposed or come about naturally. Importance of Cyclic Model this model is flexible and it is based on a situational analysis. Thus, cyclic models are logical and sequential in approach. It presents the curriculum process as a continuous activity. It responds to changes within education. It is constant in a state of change as new information and practices are available. Content methods of learning activities and evaluation are liable to change once new information and practices become available. So thank you for watching my video of Daryl Kenneth Wheeler's model of curriculum design. I hope this video will be very useful to you.